you are given an air coil an iron rod and source of electricity suggest a method to find whether the given source is dc or ac so we have given from the question okay this is air coil or air field in doctor so we have this okay next we have iron rod okay we have iron rod and we insert iron rod inside the inductor and next we have bulb okay so i am drawing bulb in this way this is bulb and we have source of electricity so we have a source of electricity so i am drawing in this way okay this is a source of electricity source of electricity and we need to suggest a method okay to find whether the given source is dc or ac now let us consider this case okay if the source is dc so i'm drawing circuit okay we have inductor that is air field inductor okay and we have a bulb this is bulb and we have battery okay which is dc source so we have this so this is dc source or battery and we have inductor having inductance l so this is air field inductor and its inductance okay l equals mu naught permeability of free space n square a by l small l okay so we have this this is inductance of air field in doctor and we need to note that capital n represent the number of turns okay number of circular turns and capital a this represent cross sectional area of the circular turns and l represent the length okay of the induct inductor so we have this okay this is for inductor now inductive reactance okay and this inductive reactance is the resistance okay resistance offered by inductor so inductive reactance xl of the inductor equals omega l and we can write in this way okay twice pi fl so we have this and for a given inductor okay if we take l equals constant okay so in this case we can see the number of turns okay is fixed and area of cross section of the circular turn okay is fixed or is constant and the length of the inductor is constant okay and if there is air okay between the circular turns then l is constant so we can write xl proportional to the frequency now for dc okay f is zero so if f is zero then xl equals zero so we find inductor okay 
we find inductor offers zero resistance to DC. So, if inductor offers zero resistance to DC, then in this case, okay, then the bulb will sign or glow okay brightly so if dc source is used then the bulb sign or signs brightly so we have this okay so we find this now If the iron rod is inserted, okay, let's say if we have iron rod, okay, we have DC source, okay, and if we take iron rod, between the circular trans. So, this is iron rod, okay, between the circular trans. Now, in this case, the inductance of the inductor is mu r mu naught n square a by l. So, it is in the presence of So, this is inductance, okay, in the presence of iron. So, this is the relative permeability and this is the relative permeability for iron. So, we need to understand this, okay. So, I am writing in this way. Now, what we find? So, if iron rod is inserted, then L increases due to which, so we find what, due to which inductive reactance XL increases. So, we find this, but we know, but for DC, okay, we know frequency is 0. So, we find this. So, if frequency is 0, then what we get? Then we get, then XL equals 0. So, on inserting iron rod, Okay, inside the inductor, again, the inductive reactance is zero. So, if inductive reactance is zero, okay, then it means that there is no resistance. Okay, that is the inductor offers zero resistance to DC. So, on inserting iron rod, okay, there will be no change, okay, on the brightness of the bulb the bulb still shines brightly so we need to understand this okay the bulb still shines brightly on inserting the iron rod okay inside the inductor so we find this okay now let us consider the next case okay let's say for case 2 okay if the source is AC. So, we have this. So, I am drawing in this way, okay. So, this is bulb and we have AC source, okay. So, this is AC source 
and we have inductor having inductance L and this is air field inductor okay so we have this and we know for air field inductor okay the inductance is given by this expression okay so what we do now now we know xl okay that is inductive reactance equals omega l equals twice by f l now if l that is inductance of a given inductor is constant then what we do we find xl proportional to the frequency and for ac okay for ac frequency is finite so for ac what we know okay for ac frequency is not equals to zero so if frequency is finite that is the frequency of ac has certain value okay and we know ac has large frequency in comparison to okay dc clear so f is finite therefore xl okay is large so we have this clear so what we find in doctor offers resistance to ac so if it offers resistance to ac then the bulb will sign or glow glow dimmer so we find this now if the rod is inserted okay if the rod is inserted inside the inductor let's understand this case okay so what we find so if we have ac source then the bulb will sign okay it will sign dimmer so we find this okay so this is to be noted now if we take rod so what we find if we take a rod okay this is bulb and we have ac source okay so this is ac source so if the rod is inserted then inductance is given by mu r mu naught n square a by l so we find this on inserting the rod okay we find this on inserting the rod therefore what we find on inserting the rod inductance okay inductance increases so if inductance increases then we find inductive reactance okay then xl increases so if xl increases then there will be more opposition that is the inductor offers more resistance to ac so what we find so if inductor offers more resistance to ac then we find then the bulb signs okay dimmer and dimmer as we go on inserting the rod more and more 
inside the inductor 